The future of mixed reality. The convergence of the real world and simulated content has made it possible for the emergence of mixed reality environments. As technology becomes more accessible to both creators and consumers, there are some important trends that should continue to make an impact on the development of mixed reality. The future is sure to be impacted by hybrid realities yet the present state of the art is still in its nascent stage. These trends will continue to transform how mixed reality content is produced and consumed. 5 Trends to Watch in Mixed Reality 1. Affordable and Cordless Headsets the consumer-friendly Oculus Go arrived in 2018 and it was an instant game-changer. At a price point of $199, it is positioned to be an affordable option for gamers and curious tech enthusiasts. They've added a cordless feature to their premium Quest model as well, priced at $399, which includes hand controllers for a more immersive experience. While they're surely early movers in the space, Oculus is not alone in offering untethered headsets priced to reach a broader consumer demographic. Weave has created a $299 wireless adapter for its HTC and Pro headsets. This is a modular addition that a user can connect to a PC. They range from around $100 to $130 and are more durable plastic versions of the cardboard viewer I gave away that summer. They split a smartphone's display into two screens so the viewer can experience virtual reality in 3D and some come with a handheld controller as well. Depending on a given user's preference, there are now more options at a wide range of price points that make access to virtual reality hardware more realistic for many. Whether they are mobile compatible headsets or standalone, untethered viewer, consumers can start to experiment with virtual reality without the large investment previously required. Even for those willing to spend more, there are wireless headsets that offer viewer a greater range of motion when experiencing virtual reality. 2. Location-based experiences The limitations of virtual reality are often related to obstacles in the physical environment. Safety concerns may require users to rearrange the furniture in order to clear a space to move about freely. This is especially true as untethered headsets become more common in the marketplace. Wireless hardware means a user can cover more ground and that requires open space. A solution to this emerging challenge is location-based virtual reality experiences which are essentially physical centers one can attend specifically to experience virtual reality in a specialized environment. Location-based experiences are being leveraged by museums, entertainment companies, amusement parks, healthcare institutions, and retail brands just to name a few. In respect to entertainment, successful mixed reality content requires an emotional connection between the viewer and what they experience. It is not merely a spectacle and the more invested a person is in what they are viewing, the stronger the impact of the experience. By making experiences location-based, they can be fine-tuned to evoke emotion by choreographing the action and setting the mood in a way that is hard to replicate in the familiarity of someone's living room. Dreamscape Immersive is one such company. They've leveraged investments from creatives like Steven Spielberg and Hans Zimmer with leadership from Disney imaginer Bruce Vaughn to bring world-class location-based entertainment to the buying public for about $20 for approximately 15 minutes of virtual reality. 3. User-Friendly Creator Toolkits One of the early drawbacks of augmented reality was a lack of content. The same was true for virtual reality. As augmented reality and virtual reality gained traction with early adopters, platforms like Apple and Facebook took notice, and responded by offering toolkits for creators to produce experiences with a more seamless workflow. Apple's AR kit allows one to place a character in an environment regardless of where the camera is positioned. Another advantage is that AR kit needs no tracker once it scans your space, you're good. In addition to these tracker and detection features, the toolkit offers the advantage of being native to creating iOS augmented reality apps. The owner of Oculus has also made a hard push into mixed reality. Their augmented reality studio toolkit can be used for creating augmented reality filters for Messenger and more. The drag and drop UX requires little technical knowledge and greatly decreases the learning curve for would-be developers. 4. Shared Experiences What makes anything fun, more fun?
sharing that experience with other people. Another limitation mixed reality faces is the highly individual nature of most experiences. It makes sense that a fully immersive experience be sort of a table for one. However, it seems likely that for mass adoption of mixed reality to happen there needs to be a collective experience available that makes the immersion a shared opportunity to connect with friends or meet new people. Oculus Venues is one such option. With Venues, you can go to a concert, watch TV or enjoy courtside seats at a sporting event with others, all via an Oculus Virtual Reality headset. 5. No more green screen. The cost of motion capture and green screen once presented a significant barrier to entry for creators. Mixcast is able to remove backgrounds and adjust spatial alignment without a green screen. It is compatible with standard green screen setups but the game changer is that the program is able to remove backgrounds without a green screen, using a process called static subtraction. Adding Mixcast to a virtual reality production workflow makes it easier for creatives to place and track virtual objects without having a full chromaking setup. This means that the barrier to entry is significantly less of an obstacle for developers that invest in adding a product like Mixcast to their virtual reality production pipeline. Like and subscribe if you like the information.